Hi, welcome back. Author Mike Metzler is with us today. Mike, good to see you. Thanks for having me. So you've written Carpe College. Let's start right there. Tell us okay. all about it. What's it about? Well, it's a book primarily for recent high school grads uh, and their parents as they try to navigate the difficult terrain of you know transitioning into college okay not an easy transition one you got to give a little bit of thought to how did you come to, to write a book like this what's your background how did you call all this information together well I've got new, nearly two decades of teaching both at the high school and the college level so I've had high school seniors and now I have college freshmen so I know the transition a little bit and some neighbors and friends started inviting me over to their house as their seniors started to go off to college and invite me in the, for a few tips and uh, so others heard about it and eventually someone in there said you should write a book about this uh -huh. so, so I put pen to paper and, uh, and cranked one out. Here we are. Yeah. Uh, graduation season upon us as we talked about before the break. There's a mantra that graduating seniors sh should commit to memory right now as they get ready to go to school in the fall isn't it? Let's, let's go over that a little bit. Yeah it's kind of a strain that I put throughout the book and yeah. it's know thyself have a plan and assume that nobody else cares. All right, and let's start with know thyself. Know thyself. The idea there is to be reflective. Uh, these students have, they've got two decades under their belt. You know, they're nearly 20, and so they've got some academic experience, obviously. And so they can look back on their high school career and kind of say, you know, how did I handle myself academically? You know, were there certain subject areas I was strong in, weak in, et cetera, et cetera? How was I as a student? Was I a good studier? Was I a good note taker? You know, did I plan well? And they can look at that and then think about how I can apply that moving forward in a whole new environment. Okay, and then having a plan, this is critical. You pose a question here with having a plan, which I, which I think is brilliant. I do. Uh, the students come in in September, they want to have a good September. Yeah. What I do is I encourage them to think ahead to next June. Yeah. Next June, they're going to be done with their first year, and they're going to be out socializing with friends and family, and they're going to get a question we all know is coming, and that is, how was your first year? So they're going to get that question, and I pose to them, what do you want to be able to say? Do you want to be able to say you made the dean's list? You, had, you met an international student? You had a good relationship with a professor or a good roommate situation? So imagine what you want to say next June, and then we can work our way backward to September so you can have a good start. Interesting. And then assume that no one else cares. It sounds kind of negative, but there's a positive affirmation in here, isn't there? Well, sure there is. I mean, it's essentially it means control your own destiny. Yeah. It means you are in charge. Yeah. And w there's... There's always this Frisbee guy, the, the guy who's on the dorms, he always wants to play Frisbee, you know, right. but you're going to have a midterm the next day, and he's going to want to go out and play Frisbee. You need to be in control of your situation to say, hey, I can't do it now, but maybe I'll see you Friday. So it's the idea is to be completely in control of your situation and know who you are and where you're going. And you can have a long-range vision as well. You can be thinking about these activities and how they can set you up for a possible job down the road, right? Sure. Uh, the, the same way you asked the June question, you can also ask the graduation question. What do, you want, what do you want to look like at graduation time? And what I encourage students to think about is in the hiring process, typically between finalists, they're going to hire the most interesting person. All the other stuff being equal, they're going to hire the most interesting person. So spend your college years trying to become the most interesting person you can become. Okay. And, yeah, I'm sorry. And, th and that includes things like meeting interesting people, which is pretty organic, and doing interesting stuff. All right, it's all inside Carpe College, and look on the screen here, a couple events coming up where you can find Mike and his book on July 6th in Macedon, as well as August 13th at the Parenton Rec Center. Carpe College, we will seize the opportunity, that's for sure. Mike, thanks for coming in, and best of luck with the book. Oh, thanks for having me, Mark. All right.